Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little different, a little something I'm excited about. It's going to be an IRL, I guess, pack and play. I went ahead, I bought a pack from Walmart, and I'm just going to set my team with guys I pull in this pack. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. So, we're just going to get right into this. And, oh my god, it's, it's a hand reveal. This is a big day. Look at that. Look at that. You know, the funny thing about these packs, actually, when I bought them, is the top Series 1 packs were $10. There's 34 cards in this pack. They were $10. This is the Series 2, right there. It was half off. Why is the newer cards half off? That's kind of a... Kind of weird to me, but here we go. And first card, oh, we're getting off to a hot start here. Noel Cuevas. Nice. And now Dowell Lugo. I know he has a uh, Tops Now, so I'd probably be able to use that one. Patrick Corbin, he's a gold. All right. Billy McKinney, nothing too special there. Yairo Munoz. I don't even know if I've heard of him. Dexter Fowler, he's fallen from grace lately. Alex Verdugo, that's a nice little card right there. He's he's having a pretty good year this year. And we got Felix Hernandez. I'm not going to be able to use his best card in this one. Uh, Jeremy Jeffress, another solid card right there. I'm hoping, because there's only 34 cards in this, in this uh, pack, I'm hoping that I can fill out a team with it. But that would mean that I'd have to have 25 unique cards, I guess, to fill out every position. So I don't know if that'll happen. So we'll just have to fill in what we can. We got Jake Marisnik here. And a Miami Marlins card. That's not gonna that's not gonna help to fill the team at all. And well, a Pirates card. I think I think I'll go ahead and say this is uh what's his name? Dickerson. It's something I forget his first name. Why can't I think of it? Is it Alex? I think Corey is the other one. Uh, why can I not think of what his first name is? All right. We got a Padres card. Another one that won't fill out any of the team. Nick Tropeano from the Angels. Ivan Nova. Oh, this one's shiny. But it, why is it? It's like, I don't know if you can see. But it's got like a little ding mark in the bottom. Why, why would the coolest looking card have a have a little ding? That's stupid. Roberto Clemente, he's not even in the game. Cool. Uh, Mookie Betts. Now this this pack here did say you're guaranteed a Mookie Betts card. So this must be that. It's a cool looking card. And uh, it'll be cool to have him on the team. Carl Yastrzemski, another guy that's not in the game. But I, he, he's he's the one that's famous for uh, the before Miguel Cabrera. He was the last guy to have a triple crown, I think. Ryan Yarbrough, Fernando Rodney. Ooh, he's not even on the A's anymore. They they released him, I think. Trevor Hildenberger, J.D. Davis. I think he just hit a homer last night at the time of recording. Willie Peralta. Wow, we're not we're not getting the the best the best looking team here. Shohei Otani, alright. Alright, he's a gold. He's not gonna be pitching because he can't pitch in this game. Uh Wei Yin Chen. I think he's the guy that's usually on the Ooh, is it Japanese cover? Chinese cover of the game? I don't know if he still is, but he used to be. David Peralta, he's another gold outfielder. Hernan Perez, the Brewers just DFA'd him. It's kind of sad. He was a solid player. David Hess, don't really know who he is. Steven Matz, I know he just got moved to the bullpen because the Mets bullpen is bad. Jason Hayward of the Cubs, solid outfielder there. And who is this? Brian Johnson. From the Red Sox, don't really know too much about him. J.A. Happ, solid pitcher from the Yankees. Nicky Delmonico, they also released him. Why am, I, why am I getting so many guys who've been released? And I think this is the last card here, Dustin Fowler. So, um, yeah, that's 
that's going to be it for these these cards here. Uh, we'll see what kind of a team I can scrape together out of these guys. And now we are over on the game. MLB The Show 19 is what is on your screen after that pack opening. And this is what the team's looking like. That Mookie Betts that was guaranteed out of that pack. We put him at second, actually, because I didn't actually end up getting a, a card that it was a good second baseman at all. So Mookie does have a secondary of second. And we got some good outfielders, so I put Jason Hayward in center with his good fielding. Shohei in right and David Peralta in left to uh, round out the corner outfield spots. Pretty solid outfield, honestly, like when you think of what we could have gotten. Um, then Nicky Delmonico over at first base. He does have that Tops Now card, which is a, an actually a pretty decent card hitting wise. So we put him over at first because he has a secondary. And then the left side of our infield is the weakest part of, of the team. Hernan Perez in his secondary position of shortstop. And J.D. Davis is going to be at third, only a 65 overall. Now, what I did about catcher is I didn't realize when I opened the packs that I didn't get a catcher at all throughout the packs. Um, well, actually, I can't remember what position Carl Yastrzemski was, but he's he's obviously not in the game. So what I did was, uh, if you remember those three team cards that I got, it was the Marlins, the Padres, and the Pirates. They all had like a, a team card. Um, I just picked a catcher from one of those three teams and the best one that I had was JT Real Muto. So I just threw him back there. So I, I feel like that, you know, that's fine. What else was I going to do? Uh, then on the bench, we got Alex Verdugo. Couldn't find him a spot in the lineup, um, but he should be a good lefty bat off the bench. Jake Marisnik is also on the bench. He's got, I, I think he's, no, he's, I thought he was going up against lefties, but He's a righty bat. He can field too, and he's got some speed, so we have him on there for that. Then we have Yairo Munoz, Munoz, the guy who I said I didn't really know about, but he's on the bench. He's going to be another righty bat. And then Dexter Fowler is a switch hitter on the bench, but he's going up a ton against righties, so he's probably going to be a lefty uh, that I'll bring off the bench. And then Dowell Lugo. I, I think I said when I was opening the packs that I thought he had a Tops Now card. I don't know why I thought he had a Topps Now card. I don't know if I was confusing him with that Kristen Stewart from the Tigers, who also has a Topps Now card, or if I was confusing it with, I think in last year's game, MLB 18, he had a Future Stars card. So I don't know if I was confusing it with that too. But then anyway, over on the pitching side of the ball, we do have, I, I didn't want to use, you know, live series crappy Felix Hernandez but I didn't have enough stubs to go out and get the signature series. So I just bought the uh, 88 Felix Hernandez and he's still our ace. Then we got Patrick Corbin, J.A. Happ, Steven Matz, and Ivan Nova. Um, I did get that Ryan Yarbaugh, Yarborough, however it's pronounced, out of the pack. And I think he's a higher overall, but Ivan Nova also had that really cool card. So I wanted to put him in the rotation. Then in the bullpen, these are the four guys we pulled. Same thing with Rodney that I did with Hernandez as I went and bought his 88 overall flashback instead of using his live series. Then we have Jeremy Jeffress, Trevor Hildenberger, and Willie Peralta at a 58 overall. Um, and then I wasn't able to fill three spots, so I just did kind of like what I did with the catcher. Um, I just took one guy from each of those three team cards that I got. Um, but I, I will, I'm not going to use these guys right off the bat since I didn't actually pull them. I'm going to try and use these guys before I go to these three golds here. Um, just, you know, to actually use people that I pulled and keep it fun that way. But with all that being said, the lineup is set and I think I'm just going to go right ahead and get into the game. Opponent found right away. I don't know if that's a good sign or not because I, I kind of wish I wasn't playing at an 823 rating right now with this team. But I made a little push at the beginning of this new season and I uh, made the championship series. So this will this will be a tough game, probably. I hope I land on either Hernandez or Corbin. I don't want to use one of those bronzes. But it'll be my luck that I get Ivan Nova. Let's see who we get. We're playing against the Cubs. Or the guy's name is the Cubs. And, oh, who called it? Ivan Nova, starting pitcher. Didn't see that one coming. But this guy's got a really good team. <laughs> if I can win this game... This proves my skill. 
This guy's record is also 69 and 14. What have I gotten myself into here? I I don't see anything good coming out of this game. And he got me with that backdoor cutter. That was a good pitch, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And he gets another strikeout on JT Riomuto. This is not looking good. And Mookie Betts is going to ground out to second. So he don't get even a hit in the first inning. And I, I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> oh, he didn't go around? I thought for sure he went around there. But we walked the first batter. That's not, that's not a good... Oh, but we're going to turn two. I hope. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Hernan Perez just kind of decided to wait a little bit before throwing that. Because, you know, you know, you got to get your bearings straight sometimes. And maybe we can do it this time. Nope, he's not there. And 99 speed. Sick. We're looking phenomenal out in the field today. Finally, is this the one? Yeah, third time's a charm. We get the double play that time. Get out of the inning without a run scoring. Hey, Nicky Delmonico is going to get a hit up the middle, leading off the inning with a guy on first. That's that's nice. Maybe we could get something brewing. I wasn't early on that cutter. We're hitting that the other way. That's going to be off the wall. I'm going to keep him at third, though. Willie Mays has got an arm out there. But we have two runners in scoring position with one out. All J.D. Davis needs to do is hit a ground ball. Not Oh, he's bringing the infield in. He does not want me to score here with this team. And J.D. Davis draws a walk. That's bases loaded. So we have a lefty up, but now we do have a possibility of hitting into a double play. Jason Hayward gets that one through. That's going to be a run. We strike first. Base is still loaded with only one out. No, I pressed the button so lightly because I knew that was a ball. But he didn't check swing. All right, at least we scored one. We did leave three runners on, but we scored one, took the lead. That one's not going to get out, but it's definitely over his head. That's going to be a double. Honestly, I was just pitching around Pudge there because he's got his pitcher up next. No, of course that would. I knew it. I visualized that in my head that this dude was about to get a bloop single with his pitcher. Oh, that's so frustrating. Of all people to tie it up as pitcher. Hernan Perez leading off the fourth with a single up the middle. That's exactly how we let off the second, and that's the inning we scored in. And now David Peralta with a single up the middle. Two runners on here, nobody out. David Peralta is two for two on the day. And I don't think that's going to get down. Oh, no, it does. It gets past him. Go home. Stay at, stay at second and first, though. I don't want to run myself out of the inning. Oh, we got it. We got lucky there. We got a free run. And Shohei gets the single. I'm going to try and go home. Oh, I'm going to get thrown out. Yeah, that, that wasn't the right decision. <laughs> I forgot he had uh, Bautista out there and right. And he's got a good arm. Man, Jose Bautista is making some good contact, but he can't get the ball out of the yard. That's his second double on the day. Two outs, though, and Scherzer up. This looks a lot like, uh, like what happened last time. All right, we should catch that one. Nice, David Peralta's there, makes the play. And we keep him at one, even though he had a leadoff double. All right, he draws a walk with Willie Mays. That's fine. I don't I don't want him uh, getting a hold of anything. Oh, but that's a run. All right, that's a run. RBI triple. Maybe Mookie can throw him out at third. Oh, Mookie threw him out at third from the cutoff spot. He's got a good arm out there. I didn't even think I had a shot at throwing him out. Are we going to throw him out? Nice. We throw out Alomar. 
slide stepped, but it was a curveball. He didn't get the best jump, but now we still got Bautista up 3 2. I don't want to give him anything to hit, though, with nobody on base now. Eh. Oh, he swung anyway. Man, I thought that was a horrible pitch. But somehow it got him swinging. Let's see if let's see if he chases at a change up here. Nope, that's going to be Bautista's third double of the day. Yep, Shohei can't run it down. Jose Bautista is just, he's the only one who can hit the crap out of Ivan Nova today. Yeah, he'll definitely pinch it for Scherzer in this situation. I want to try and get, nope, all right. He turned on that inside fastball, and he's going to take the lead for the first time in this game. Jeremy Jeffress is going to come into this game. Hopefully he can do just as good, if not better, than Nova did. And, oh, Rogers Hornsby crushed that ball. Couldn't get there. Hayward couldn't. I don't know. That wasn't proper English. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. No! Oh, that was supposed to be a high and away fastball outside of the zone. And I just left it right over the middle of the plate. Oh, man. All right, well, not a double this time, but an RBI anyway. Man, this sucks. No, 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 no. Why are you hanging a curveball right down the middle on 0-2 to Christian Yelich? Oh, my God. Jeffers single-handedly blew this game for us. All right. No run score that inning. Trevor Hildenberger comes in and keeps the deficit at seven. But we're headed into the top of the ninth, which is going to be our last chance here. <laughs> we got to put up seven runs at least to stay in this game. And he's popping up to center field. That's going to end the game. Couldn't win this one. Probably shouldn't have won this one. Jose Bautista, of course, gets player of the game. Four for four, three doubles, and only one RBI? I thought he had more than that. Well, like I said, probably shouldn't have won that game. This guy had a really good team. He had a record of, what was it, like 67 and 19 or something like that. So he himself was a good player. Uh, honestly, though, through six innings, it was a great game. It was looking good. Ivan Nova with the surprise quality start actually six innings with three runs allowed that's a quality start out of the 72 overall Ivan Nova but anyway that is going to do it for this video here it was a fun video I've never done anything like this before buying the pack in real life and then using who I got on my team I had a lot of fun doing it I don't know how often I'll do something like this uh just because you know spending money on packs I don't want to be doing that too much but overall, this was a really fun concept. I do hope to do it again sometime in the future. But like I said, I don't know how often I'll be doing this. But it makes sure if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to see more MLB The Show content, I usually play some Battle Royale, some uh, franchise road to the show, debut some players. It's a fun time on the MLB machine here. But uh, that's going to be it for me in this episode and i will see you i don't know why i call it an episode it's not an episode of anything but i'll see you in the next video